Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, 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 Hey, welcome back to Mellow Mates. I'm your host, Sean, here. Also, your host, Rocky, down in the corner there. Uh, we have three guests with us today. Uh, Oakley, which is a Facebook streamer. He's in the middle here for me. Uh, we have Travis, which I've pre previously worked with. He's also one of my good friends. And we have Robert, correct? That's it. Hey, we have Robert. Uh, I'm kind of new to him, but Rocky has been friends with him for a long time. Also been friends with Oakley for a long time. I did not mean to like leave that out. <laughs> cool. That's cool. I'm feeling the love. No problem. <laughs> uh, today we just, uh, it's just, you know, we're just going to talk about a bunch of topics that we have um, and hope you enjoy this long form podcast. Our other podcast did well for what it was. It was not the greatest thing in the world, but it, we, you know, we did it and it was cool and it worked. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Let's go. So um let's go with um let's go with hobbies. What kind of hobbies are you guys into? Hmm. Maybe I I have a razor. I ride and razor with every now and then Sean whenever his stuff isn't broke. No, 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 no. We've only rode we've only rode once, correct? It's yeah, like, but I still have to pull you out of the woods though. Yeah. And I drove out with a flat tire. <laughs> I blew Sean? a tire. The tire like blew off the wheel and <laughs> I was like, All right, let's go. And I was like, walk on just hammered the Jeep down all the way out of Stony. Sean's stuff broke. Has anyone ever seen the Miata? Hey, and you what that thing's been through. <laughs> hey, hey, this ain't a roast Sean here now. Come on. <laughs> We're talking about hobbies here. Let's make fun. Sean's the number yeah. one for me. So anyways, you guys wanna... you know, I ride with Sean, you know, when he's not broke down. Um, <laughs> collect oh, yeah, that's it. with Sean, you know, but that's pretty much about me. Hmm. Let's see, hobbies. Hmm. As Sean said, Facebook streaming, of course. I love to stream. I love video games. Big this gamer. link will be in the description below. Um, then I might have to go with fishing. Fishing's got to be the top two. Not Gaming a, and fishing. I'm not a fishing guy. Why? Can't do it. I've tried Why? so many times. No patience, is, it, man? is it just a patience thing? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't try. know. My dad Tell taught me how to like hook, you know, run this run the cable through the hook or whatever and do all that. I know how to do all of it. And I have like a full set of gear too and a really nice fishing pole. I just hate it. I do not enjoy it. I I love so with your your terminology starting off with running the cable through the hook, um, I'm going to say there's a, there's a lack of knowing there. <laughs> running yeah. the fishing line through the hook. I know how to do that. I also watched a YouTube video on it and my dad was right. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> he didn't have YouTube when he taught me that. So Sean looked up a video on how to tie a knot with some string. <laughs> is what you're saying. Pretty much. <laughs> or AKA cable. We'll go cable. There you go. Cable. Hey. Everything, everything is cable to me. I'm a uh, production specialist. So that's <laughs> everything is cable. To that me. is, uh, that's He's a, using that's cable. A, is fishing for sharks. It's a self given, <laughs> self given title of, uh, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> this did turn into everybody ganging up on Sean, didn't it? <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't three minutes in, bro. Like we're legit four minutes forty two seconds in on this thing. <laughs> so uh, Robert, basketball, basketball's the top three. Sorry, I, sorry. I play a couple video games. Um, like to ride dirt bikes when they don't, you know, catch fire. Um, Play dude, poker. dude, uh, Rocky made me think you'd look like Deadpool the other day. I, I was like, oh my, dude, <laughs> I thought you like almost died. 
Deadpool. I went specifically for like Harvey Two Face. I didn't say anything <laughs> about Deadpool. Dude, I swear, <laughs> I thought Rocky was gonna send me a picture of you today, and you was going to look like Deadpool. He said you like you drowned in the fire. It was pretty much that, man. So the cylinder was filled with fuel. That's why it wasn't working when the bike was at your house. It was yeah. hydrolock. Yeah. Uh, and after a couple of beers and a little bit of gumption, I decided, you know, let's uh, let's pump the fuel out of it. So I pulled the plug and decided that it'd be a good idea to just to roll start it um, and try and pump the fuel out. I didn't hold the kill switch. So as soon as, uh, as, soon as all the fuel came out, it ignited. And it was essentially a bomb that went up over the front of me. I had, um, I don't know, a few ounces to a gallon of gasoline that pumped out of the cylinder, ignited, and then I'm rolling downhill. So the flames roll over the side of the motorcycle and catch my hands. I'm trying to scramble off the bike, but I have nothing to push against. So I'm just sitting on the seat. The flames are coming around and up over my face. And it was, it was, it was hectic. It wasn't, it wasn't a good experience. And, uh, but anyway, the bike laid down, it laid there on fire and tried for five, ten minutes to put it out. So it's melted down. Where are we going? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we got going. We had like three it's people, dude. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I knew, I knew that happened. And uh, I thought it, I thought it was like, pretty bad i thought you like was in a house fire like that's how bad i thought rocky no, it, it got like my hand god do you see that bubble on his thumb dude yeah. jeez uh yeah so it's it pretty got, good yeah it got up my palm a little bit here and then up that thumb uh singed mo- most of my hair off so i had a nice shave i had to do but... <laughs> sounds it, rough yeah that's, <laughs> that's always the worst it could have been a lot worse. Oh yeah. Anyway, we'll try to salvage the bike. If not, then we'll we'll find another toy. But yeah, anyway, just standard standard shit. I enjoy working on vehicles as long as it's not a Ford five four. Um, I got a nightmare going on with that right now too. But you know, standard shit. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> I also work on vehicles, which you noticed that the other day. I mean, I don't. I don't like like working on vehicles. Yeah, I, I said it. I said it. I said it. I said. It. Let's let's pump the brakes. You know, you <laughs> saying you work on a vehicle is very loose, loose <laughs> terminology, might I? Add. What yeah. do you mean? I build radiator brackets. Did you see the focus? I was gonna say, as long as you can ratchet strap it, man. As long as you can ratchet strap it. Oh, facing the Miata. <laughs> Dude, the Miata yeah, was facing no. the uh, the core support. Me and, Occasionally. me and Josh cut the core support off the Miata underneath it and above it. And it was the radiator was literally Travis seen this firsthand. The radiator was literally held in with ratchet straps. It was a built core support out of ratchet straps. It was a genu- it was a genius idea and I fucking did it. <laughs> I think that's I think that would be a hanger, not a core support. Not a you know there's no support. It was almost There's like no a core. Yeah, it's a radiator mount. Yeah. It was almost Thanks. like a gimbal because, uh, like, the, the car would, like, you know, bounce and the radiator would just be like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It would just be bouncing around in there. It wouldn't even, like, hit nothing. It was good. It was great. It worked. Like three, like three blades on one side per side. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was awful. We got the Josh. By the way, we did uh, Josh and Oakley. We did and Travis. We did get the uh, focus. You remember that I jumped it last year, a little over a year and a half ago or so. I jumped it, it nose dived, and it ripped the transmission cooler off. Well, we <laughs> took it. Yeah, we took it to Dylan's, uh, me, Robert, and Rocky, and we got out there. We hooked the hose back up, and Dylan was spilling transmission fluid. This video comes out Wednesday, by the way, but. He was spilling uh, transmission fluid all over the place. But we filled it up with transmission fluid. It it started up after a few you know tries. Started right up. Sounded awful, but it got better because, you know, start pumping oil to the head. That's a good thing. And uh, it, it drives. It runs and drives. I jumped it. Or I didn't jump it. I ran into a stump. 
<laughs> so here's a, a story. A story that Sean might not know, but it's about his dad. So uh, his dad had a green like GMC truck, and uh, he ended up selling it to my uncle. And I went to go drive that truck one day a long time ago. It's probably ten years ago. When I'm driving, I couldn't get it to crank, couldn't get it to do nothing because it didn't have a gas tank on it. His dad somehow rerouted the the windshield wiper fluid to be a gas tank, and then the hose. I disassembled it from the windshield wipers and put it straight into the carburetor. So every time you went to flush to put it on your windshield, it goes straight to the carburetor, and that's how you'd crank it. Hey, good enough for me. It was like a, uh, it was like a, it uh, worked. dumping, <laughs> yeah, dumping fuel into the carburetor to get it to start because it, it was a bad, it was an old motor. Except it was hands free. <laughs> it's free. It's a pretty genius idea if you think about it. <laughs> they get him to the gas station. <laughs> that that reminds me of like the kind of cars you see with like the light switch to like turn the ignition on and off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna do yeah. that. I wish I, I like I wanna do that in my Jeep, like boop and it's like and then turn it off. That'd be interesting. I see a the wiring in a car. You want to what? I've seen a sim rig like that, where everything in the sim rig, someone actually used the whole dash of a car. And like, if you turn the blinker on, like in the dash, it actually worked in the game. Like oh, they yeah. reprogrammed every single button to the actual dash of the car. Crazy. Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. I've seen a couple like that too. I'm a part of a. Oh. Uh, I got you. Uh, I'm a part of a like a uh, Facebook group that. <clears throat> like is a do it like DIY sim rig thing because my sim rig is made out of wood and uh, all of theirs is like made out of wood but like 10 times better than mine because <laughs> mine was like eyeballed <laughs> so we we'll put it together <laughs> we're like yeah it looks right in here <laughs> but yeah mine's done well uh, shout out Jason from uh, work he built me a shifter holder and it's like perfect. He like took his time on it, and I didn't take my time on the that sim is, rig. That is his link. If you want to find him on social media, it's Jason from work. <laughs> I think it's like Cipher. I think he's he's on YouTube. He streams and stuff. Go check him out. His name is like Cipher. I don't know how to I don't know how to spell it. I think it's C Y S something. It should pop up. But yeah, if you want to check it out, go check it out. Sean, give us some more S syllables. Some what? <laughs> Some more S syllables, like, like Sean, <laughs> like Sean Wayne. What what's going on with the S syllables? <laughs> no, no, just don't worry about it. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> like Sean with the <laughs> Sean with a C. <laughs> I wouldn't look into it too much. <laughs> like Con. Um, I think Sean for uh, not Con. <laughs> I think for Robert's bike, I think we're gonna do like a full tear down, strip it all the way down, and just come back with it you could do like i did i pulled my grom apart in my kitchen and rebuilt it what what happened it started i was walking a wheelie on it and those groms they don't have um uh, oil pumps with the tails they just have like a regular oil pump in the front so i was walking a wheelie up a hill and it was like a five minute wheelie <laughs> so this is like just the whole time and then it freaking like starved the head for oil who needs bearings yeah, nobody, not me. <laughs> so it started, and then like back then, I was like, it was my only ride home. So I was like, I'll just go home. I mean, it can't get any bad worse. <laughs> the damage is done, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's already like if it's gonna break, it's gonna break. So I drove home. I made it home. That thing was like, I mean, just knocking. I was like, oh boy, this is bad. Like two days later, I went and bought a brand new Grom. And then got home with the brand new Grom, rode it for about a week. And then Dylan was like, dude, I wish we could just like fix your Grom. And I was like, yeah, I know. Uh, Cause I still owed like $3,000 on it. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, I know. I need to, I need to fix it. And then it was like a 25, like this kid hooked me up on the Grom pages on Facebook. This is really cool to be a part of those Facebook pages. Kid hooked me up. It was like 25 bucks. He shipped it out to me, a whole head and a piston, and we rebuilt it in the living room. It took like two hours. 
ran fine after that. I sold it to Dylan. Yeah, I don't. I haven't visually inspected much more than what I can see. Uh, I know mine needs all plastics, needs new fuel lines, and I don't know if there's any internal damage. Um, they could have burned the reeds out of it. I just don't know. I don't know how bad it is, but it's probably due anyway for about for a, a rebuild. Two strokes aren't good for ever anyway. So you got that right. Yeah, I think you got to keep them in like the high RPMs, don't you? I'm not a huge two stroke guy, but. Uh, so, to be honest with you, I mean, I don't really know all the answers to that either. Um, I do know that hey. out and burn all the oil out of your fuel is a bit or an easier way to burn the bottom end out of them or the top end out of them. Oh, because I don't have oil in the engine itself, it's a, just the oil that you feed it. Yeah. Uh, most of those bikes do run on like a 32 to 1 mix. It's a little bit thicker than most, you know, small two strokes. That's interesting. Uh, okay, I like your uh, camera angle change, by the way. This you would start <laughs> slightly, <laughs> slightly to the left. Appreciate it. <laughs> He's like, I get the good side, baby. Yeah. yeah I had a, a little 90cc that had the self oiler. Uh, the thing went out and Blue freaking spark plug out of the hole and everything. Damien's bike done that. Uh, <clears throat> my my buddy Damien, he rode Groms with us, and uh, <laughs> it was such a bad day. We were out riding and it, it like messed the spark plug up, and it like the spark plug broke on the inside and was like hitting the piston. <laughs> and uh, so we pulled over, and Damien's like, "I'll just take it out." Please, like, fucking get so rash out put this old spark plug socket on and we like went through links to find the spark plug socket because we didn't have one on the road he sticks that thing on there and then pow breaks it off in the head <laughs> I was like oh no <laughs> and we're in uh, we're in Dick's parking lot like right there when around the time they built it he just snapped the old spark plug off in the head are you supposed to take spark plugs out whenever it's like super cold or like your motor is super cold, like you haven't driven it in a couple hours. I heard that. And is your, that true? And your motor needs to be in your car or your truck. Yeah, that, that's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> you got a point. It's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if you drive it, if you drive it with no motor, you'll just drive with 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 seals. That's right. You'll just drive with seals. So he helps me out, out with my repairs. <laughs> He's got you figured out, Sean. He knows you're riding around just seals. <laughs> <laughs> Only seals, baby. <laughs> Only seals. <baby. laughs> we don't need no motor where we come from. <laughs> um. Uh, didn't you have like a uh, like a uh, like a debate going on before we started, Robert? Yeah, yeah, I had a debate. Um, this is specifically for Oakley. Specifically, uh, okay. Uh, okay. So, yeah, oh, we we heard a rumor, Oakley. So we just want to get it straightened out here. I a rumor. rumor. I want to get it straightened out. What you got? Who? Who does it? So, which way do you wipe? <laughs> what did you just say to me? I gotta make sure I heard that right. <laughs> hold on, hold on, time out. Do you stand up or sit down? Is that the question? Yeah, is that, is that what you said? Uh, uh, well, you've got you've got uh, direction, position, um, you know, consistency. All right, so position wise, sit down. What? Doing that. Wait, I what? Stand. I'm not standing up to wipe my ass. You don't stand up. Everybody stands, dude. No, everybody does not stand up to wipe their ass. That's not a thing. Only no, raise your hand if you stand up. The fuck is wrong with all of you? Dude, how do you sit? How do you get in there? Yeah, how do What's you get in there? For? Bro, you just leaning over. You know, <laughs> if one cheek can't hold your ass on the toilet, you got more problems, all right? So you have to do like a like a gymnastic style balancing act? 
How do you pull the? How do you pull your cheeks apart when you leaned over like that on one of yeah. them? Your ass cheek ain't gonna fall around. Quit clenching your cheeks, bro. Why are you so tight? All right, so raise, raise your hand. Raise your hand if you stand up and you also wipe back to front. Back. Well, I'm, I'm 50 50 on that one. 50 50 on that one. Because you got to go up twice after your fold and then go straight down. You see, to. I go for like I go for like a clinch in the middle and then a pull away. You do. You, That's full hair, dude. You can't getting, do that. Are you not? Are you not trimming? <laughs> trimming. Are you not? Are you not trimming? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, I'm not. You don't trim that. your asshole hairs. So you're so you're going no. untrim. Yeah. You're going How? Untrim How do you do front. that? Only time I'm trimming is if it comes out when I wipe my ass. That's it. That's the only trim we get. See, that's why you guys are pulling hair because you're sitting down. <clears throat> that's why you only well, wipe one direction. That, that is a bad. Hard in it. Okay, snap. Oh. I'm just saying, if you if you go from you know back to front and front to back, you meet in the middle. There's no smearage. You're not smeared. <laughs> so so oh bros over worry about smearing. <laughs> <laughs> As coming from a guy who up. coming from a guy who's untrimmed, you probably want to worry about smearage. As you just wipe your ass enough, you ain't smearing nothing. As long as, as long as you wipe your ass and it's clean, you good. You you're gonna wear that thing raw, my man. <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> feel the happens, heat. Happens. You're gonna feel the you're heat like, coming off of it. You're like one of the guys. Travis, what about you? Hey, <laughs> you ain't said anything yet. <laughs> I mean, I use dude wipes, you know. When I'm at home. Wait, so you're a wet wiper. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. You're getting clean. Yeah. yeah. But you know what it they're means. Old. You know, and there's a kid here. Can't. So we can't, <laughs> technic- <laughs> we can't no. technically say why you got wet wipes in the bathroom, but we all know why. <laughs> well, Sean, you've worked with me, so you know how many times a day I have to shit. So <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty often. I couldn't tell if he was just... Uh, like going in there to sit on his phone or if he was actually pooping. And one time I like tested this theory and I walked in on him like three times. He was literally pooping. Did you all like three times. Rob Van Dan him and like kick the door in on him? No, you right. walk in, it hits you. You have to walk back out. <laughs> You're like, yes! I'll be like, what's going on in here? <laughs> so walk oh, in, give a, little, give a little sniff test, you know what I'm saying? Our, our work there are no exhaust fans in our bathroom no, okay, so there's no heaters time. heaters only yeah oh man that's, that's what they, <laughs> they make you yeah, sweat no, they, do in there. they do that on purpose they want to keep the turnover rate uh they want to get you in and out of there <laughs> true like you never want to use the bathroom at sean's house because he always buys like the the six rolls for 75 cents so it's like half a block no, 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 no. No, we got yeah, angel. We got angel soft over here, baby. That's it. It's not yeah. even. It's not even put into paper at that point. Was, that's that just was, dust in a that, bag. That was back when YouTube wasn't paying me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we <said> had ball. <laughs> Sean, we had to buy Sean actual school paper. College ruled. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd rather wipe my ass with sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> it's about what it was. Yeah, Sean came home one day bully- with a toilet paper. You, and you knew like, if you you knew if there was blood on the uh, toilet paper, you knew he was clean. <laughs> Sean came home one day with a roll of toilet paper. It was like, baby, we finally made it. <laughs> Angel soft. She said, "You got Angel the six dollar ones." I said, "I got the six dollar one, baby. What's up? Let's go take a dump real quick." <laughs> getting, getting college roll on a uh, on tax free weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Get it all, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you, Oakley. You sit down. Yeah, I bro. I don't know how you do it. I gotta stand up. It's the only way that it, it's more free. You know, you're not yeah. tangled up in jeans by your you knees. Squat, and squat yeah. let them butt cool. cheeks come out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this straight. You stand up to wipe your ass, but yeah, right. in the midst of wiping your ass. You squat down a little bit so your cheeks will spread so you can get up in there. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, you uh, hover. You yeah, just yeah. you just hover. You know when you're sitting down on the toilet, you are already squatted. You know, there's, 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 there's nothing blocking you. If he does a squat, there's nothing blocking you on the sides. Yeah. I, I can't get I can't 
for reasons I can't say on stream because there's kids here. <laughs> I can't get yeah. into the it's scary, bro. Mm -hmm. You reach your hand down there and you accidentally flush your hand down the toilet. You're messed up. It's pulling you down. You know what I'm saying? And it's pulling you, you in a direction you don't want to go. <laughs> Have you seen what happens to goldfish when they go down there? It's bad. They don't come back. They don't they don't come back. back. Imagine the arm getting down in there, and then you accidentally hit your turd. Like, what are you doing? Stand no, up. Just, look, all right, look at me, everybody. Eyes on me. Look, I'm okay. sitting on the toilet right now. That's what we're imagining, right? You just hard yeah. lean, bro. We just lean with it, rock with it. You know what I'm saying? Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me a full, me. give me a full example. I want to see a full example right now. Well, that's that's a, that, was my, dark. that was my full example, bro. Look, look, look. We're on the toilet, right? And then we got the toilet paper. Look, we leaned over. We Tore it off, we flipped it, fold it. It's in the hand, right? We cupping it a little bit. Got a little cup action with the toilet paper, and we hard lean. And then you just reach it right under between your ass cheek and the toilet seat. You know that little gap right there is big enough for my hand, is big enough for y'all's hand. I promise. You look, you're leaning, you're you wiping. Toilet paper down. around like the wad. I like to get different layers of scrapage going on so I can really get down in there. I, I how how, 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 how the toilet paper ball. depends on the quality. If I what? got good quality toilet paper, how I do the toilet paper and the wrap and stuff depends on the quality of toilet paper. If it's that 75 cent shit you're buying, I'm using like a half a roll, one wipe. <laughs> <laughs> no in between. So half I use, roll, I use angel sauce. I wrap around like three times, break it, and then pull it off my hand, and it's perfect in my hand. Yeah, but then it's flat. What are you, what's actually digging down in there? That's why I said, like, I like a finger, son. It folds over, so it, the, really, like, this, really this is toilet paper. Leaned up a little bit, and it folds, and then you're scraping that shit out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so do you go for like, you go for like one, and then you like, like tear off the dirty ones. No, no, no. Back, you, and then you hit the you, next one. No, you 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 get it out, you fold it, and then you go again. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, I don't know if I I've never I've never double used toilet paper before. Like once it's got this, once it's a, a one wipe, it's out. And I'm, I'm sorry, it. I'm poor. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we use that toilet paper about two or three times. Same toilet yeah, paper. We we wipe it when we fold. We getting creative with the fold at this point. <laughs> Why do it? Do it. Oh, you know, we're making the old football. You know the little yeah, toilet origami. Toilet paper, like we did in school to play football. You know that's what we do in that with toilet paper. Wipe our ass. <laughs> this has been a <laughs> a long conversation of how we're wiping. It is actually... What did we start with? We started with hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> started with hobbies, and now we're on to how we wipe our ass. You know, I, I was in I a debate. Really not long ago. I am really I mean, good. I, I've learned that I don't know if I can trust this man. He sits down. Y'all, but hold up. Time out. Y'all wipe back to front? Yeah. No. All right, hold up. Hold yeah. up. I, I know we're on a podcast, but I'm, I'm going to try to be as PG as possible here. How. Are y'all not worried about getting some on your things? You know what I'm saying? Oh man, I'm uh, probably, probably we all sh we all shave. Yeah, this well, goes back. This goes back to smearage. Shaving, shaving. right? Huh? You shave. You shave, you, shaving oh, shave you shave you gooch and your butthole. Open you open your butt. You know where you. No, 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 no. Listen. Do you know why? Do you know why I shave my ass? I do. <laughs> Josh Josh knows. Well, this is a serious. This is a serious thing. Do you, this Josh knows why I shave my ass. Why do you shave your ass, Sean? All right, I had a polynatal cyst in the ass in the crack of my ass when I was. How old was I, Josh? It was I was young. It was like it was 20, probably twenty. Yeah, twenty, like twenty-one, that. something like that. They cut the crack of my ass open from butthole to back to my back, and I had like thirty-something stitches, and. Mm -hmm. When it was healing, I had to shave my ass. Oh, well, I didn't. Taylor had to shave my ass. <laughs> so when they pulled the stitches out, it still had a little bit of healing to do. And so when I'd go to the doctor, he was like, you got to hit that with, you know, a trimmer or something. And I was like, oh, okay. So I had to stick the trimmer up there and knock out, you know, that patch of, patch of you know, hair out so it would heal up. And, and I've one just, of those little round, like, nostril trimmer, trimmers do that? Did you get that thing way up in there and, like... <laughs> no, I, 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 I used, used a regular trimmer. trimmer. <laughs> I bet that pinched a lot, didn't it? <laughs> no. They had the, 
landscape 2.0 for you. You keep, it, you keep it like, you know, you keep it like flat and then you, you cruise along. You don't, you don't hold it straight to your skin. Cause that's where it starts biting you. You gotta oh, like got to hold it flat and go. The name I've of learned this episode, the technique, son. I got a smooth what? ass over here, baby. I'll show everybody. The name of this episode has got to be how to shave your ass 101 slash how to wipe your ass 101. <laughs> <laughs> Anything other than that, it's not it. Sean, Sean uh, did you take a shower before or after? What do you mean? Before, what? before you shave your ass. I shave my ass and then I take a shower. So, so all the cameras are taking. For educational purposes, what fucking position do you put your body in to shave your ass? You he really sits on the, he sits like down a, on the is toilet. Is like a hike of <laughs> like this? What are we doing? Do you really want to know? <laughs> yeah, I need you may toilet. need to show you how I wipe my ass. I need you to show me how you he shave just, your ass. I'm telling you, he just sits on the toilet and leans over a little bit and gets in there. <laughs> do you, Why can't you wipe his ass like that? That's the theory, huh? The, <laughs> it's so it's it's really <laughs> complex, okay? But I need gotta, previews. Like, you gotta like stand up for um you hike your leg up and you're just in there, you know what I'm saying? You just you know <laughs> then he loses one. Uh you may slip, <laughs> shit goes bad, it's a bloodbath. Yeah, fuck that. Um, That's what I'm, I'm saying. Um, you you lay the razor down and you and you shave against your skin. You don't like you don't hold it to you because it'll bite you. Ask me how I know. It's <laughs> <laughs> about your ass. All right, whatever. Oh, dude. sorry, yeah. um, it, all it, the it, listeners. They're yeah. <laughs> really missing the really missing the full image of this. <laughs> yeah. It's you, on. It'll be on Sean's YouTube members only. <laughs> if you are if you are just a listener on Spotify, click very quickly to the video. <laughs> Uh, we do uh, YouTube and Spotify at the moment. And there, there is actually a video on Spotify, Spotify, but it's you know. Yeah, editor, edit that out. <laughs> I was oh, yeah, probably I about eighteen years old, and uh, we was having this talk about who stands and sits. And uh, my dad was there. He said, "Oh, the only reason you stand is because I was too lazy to train you how to do it. Whenever you're sitting down, so I just stood you up and wiped your ass." <laughs> And then I've always did it since. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I've always known. I've always been like, you know, stand up, wipe your ass. When you post this, please attach a like poll to it. I will. So yeah, viewers go click, so we can click a sit down, stand up, and let's see who wins this shit. Hey, <laughs> the real question though, like for me, I'm super self conscious. So if you're in a, if you're like in stalls. Yeah. I'm waiting for the guy to the left or the right of me to leave so I can stand up so I'm not like looking <laughs> over the stall to wipe my ass when I stand up. <laughs> well, you well, stand, I mean, you, do you stand straight up to wipe your ass? I stand up with my legs spread so that my butt cheeks never close to touch to make it worse. I like to like slide a foot over in the next stall and like tap him and be like, what's up, bro? <laughs> hey, you got any toilet paper over there? <laughs> yeah, I, just, I just want him to feel comfortable knowing that the guy next to him is an all right guy, you know? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta call me. I'm right. like stood up, squatting, and bent over. Lean down there and like tug on his I'm pants like a little bit. What do you what mean, do you mean I'm doing to? I'm getting clean, brother. I'm like looking at my butt. My hole. ass is clean too, but like yeah, you, know, you are inspecting <laughs> that shit with your eyes. I You're am, dude. I am. I'm looking at my butthole to make sure that thing's clean. <laughs> John, I, I don't know how y'all really, don't do that. Y'all yes. don't do that. No, ain't no way. Wanna, y- wanna y'all just y'all just did. trust the toilet paper. <laughs> That's what y'all do. <laughs> I, I wipe until it's clean. I wipe until. How much toilet paper are you using? Not till much. It's clean. Don't take that much. Till it's clean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, sometimes it can be a lot. Sometimes it can be a little. Just depends on the shit. You ever wipes and kept wiping? Oh. You're like, God, dude, what what am I doing? It just keeps going. Yes. Is yes. there like a brown marker back there? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> That boy, last guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's a rough episode. <laughs> Sean, there's a to to get off of this topic. There's a story that I want to hear from you. I heard like a tiny bit of it one time. It was the story you you had started to tell it, and like something happened. But it was the story of you and Dylan riding on a bike. 
It would involve the cops. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, back. This is this is back before me and like Taylor were dating. Uh, me and Dylan used to do some hood rat stuff, like just dumb stuff. And we were, Dylan had this granny car. Yeah, I can't remember. It was like an Oldsmobile something. Everybody that knew Dylan remembers this car. And uh, we used to just give it hell. We would drive like super fast. When I say super fast, like 97 miles an hour. <laughs> I mean, it was, and it would float too. Like when it hit a bridge, it'd be like, <laughs> it was like one of those cars that would float. But uh, Dylan had this super good idea where he was like, let's do some reverse donuts in a, in a field. So I found the field. We were doing reverse donuts and got stuck. And then, and then so we, we was like, my house is right down the road. Y'all know how far right down the road is <laughs> when it's I say right stuff. Like, it's not right down the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. It, I was like, yeah. we, we, we can't, uh, you know, we can't ride a, you know, we can't walk that far. It's going to suck. So let's ride a bike. Dylan had, he always carried around his BMX bike, even though he's a skateboarder. <laughs> he carried his BMX bike around in the back of his car. So we got it out and it had pegs on the back. So I just jumped on the pegs and held onto his shoulders. And we cruised over the hill and then down the hill. And there was a bunch of people catching chickens. Like it was a bunch of chicken catchers at the at chicken houses. And there was chickens running around all the place. And we just like cruising down this hill by them on a dirt road. And they're just like, did you see that? <laughs> it was like two o'clock in the morning, <laughs> by the way. Where did two o'clock in the morning? That was, an, what that was an underground that was an underground um <laughs> bird fight you know get to get to my house get my truck and it, it took a while it took like 40 minutes to get to my house dude. it was rough got Definitely to my house <laughs> yeah. uh got down got down there got my truck it had a flat tire i was i didn't care I was driving it drove it with a flat headed back or driving like 20 miles an hour. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, I'll just pull it out with the flat tire. I don't care. So we're on our way. And my buddy, Daniel, um, I haven't talked to Daniel in a long time, but Daniel, he's really crazy, really crazy. And, um, uh, I won't say what was going on. Uh, dear, like what he wanted to do. Well, anyway, he called me up. He's like, hey, man, where you at? I'm like, on your road. And I'm like, um, we're headed over here to blah, 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 to get Dylan's car because it's stuck. My tire's flat. And I'm driving really slow. And he comes flying by. Like, he's about to pass us, and he just slams on the brakes. Just, and just stops right in front of us. He's like, hey, man. <laughs> and I was like, hell yeah, dude. So he, like, gets behind us and follows us to the truck, and we get to the road where all the chickens are running around on. So I'm like missing the chickens, like swerving around them, and Daniel's behind me, just hitting them, just do 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 do, just taking them out, <laughs> just running them over, dude. Just feathers flying everywhere. Like it was the craziest thing I've ever seen. We get over the hill, and I back up to the car, and Daniel, his window don't work, so he's got his door open, and the chicken catchers come over the hill in the van. And they pull up behind us or whatever. <laughs> and they were like, <laughs> Daniel sees them and shuts the door and just, it's a gravel road. So he does like a burnout and gravel and takes off. And then you hear him hit the road. <laughs> He's just gone. And the chicken catcher's like, you know that? You know that guy? I was like, I don't, I don't know, dude. This kid is asking us for help. I have no idea. He's like, well, we called the cops. I was like, oh, crap. And I know Daniel's got substance in his car. Because he told me. <laughs> so I was like, all right, so uh, I need to text him. And this is back when we had flip phones. So I was like trying to text him. I was like, you know, going, you know, trying to. I'm like, hey, man, cops don't come. And he's coming over the hill of the dirt road. And the cops there. He comes over the hill and he gets my text message because he slams on his brakes. Just. <laughs> and stops, does a J turn and leaves and then hits the road. And the cop the whole time is just in shock. He's just watching this happen. And then he hits the road and all you hear is like just hauling ass, bur bur like burning tires. Cop gets in his car, goes after him. You can hear the cop hit the road. Once the cop hits the road and takes a left to go after Daniel, Daniel come flying by this way. Boom. <laughs> He's just gone. <laughs> 
<laughs> he called me like later that night. He's like, I made it home, dude. Is that crazy? <laughs> but uh, my buddy Kurt come for the rescue. They come aired up my tire, pulled the thing out. Oh, the cop was like, what happened here? And we obviously, you could tell that we were doing donuts. But, <laughs> you know, because we were being dubbed. But uh, I was like, yeah, this black blazer like ran us off the off the dirt road. They were like coming through, like doing donuts and stuff. And they, you know, we were headed home and they pulled out and we ran off the road into the, into the thing. And there was two marks from where my truck was. And it looked like we slid off the road into the, into the middle of the donuts. It was perfect. He, he didn't care because like he was after Daniel after that, but. It was whatever. Kurt come pulled us out, and we all went home, and it was a good time. I ended up buying a black blazer like a week later. <laughs> so that was kind of ironic, but it was a good time. <clears throat> I think uh, I think Oakley and uh, Josh remember that black blazer. I traded yeah, a Zuzu for it. That was a good truck. That was a good vehicle. You got it from. Uh... What's his name? Quentin. Yeah. Quentin Hodge. Long time yeah. ago. That Isuzu blew up on him like a week later. You remember that? On that same dirt road. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was on that same dirt road. And he sold it for like 200 bucks. That was a good truck too. I don't know why it blew up. It was not me. I didn't like mess the truck up. I didn't know it was going to blow up. It just so happened to blow up. Right after we traded, so <laughs> it's a coincidence, I guess. I don't know. I used to drive that truck, and because it was like it had like a straight pipe exhaust on it, of course. And I used to drive that truck, and be like, why? Just I'd leave it in gear or whatever, and I would let off, cut it off, and turn it back on, and it would like make the loudest popping noise you've ever heard in your life, just floating the valves. <laughs> it was so loud. White right, fellas, that's it for me. I'm out of here. You out? I'm out. Y'all holler at me next time y'all do this. All right. Yeah. For yeah, see y'all later. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us, my man. Yeah, yeah. See y'all later. In your very opinionated <laughs> ways of watching. Yeah, let <laughs> let me know how this poll goes. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna attach a poll to it. That uh yeah. all right. The wiping uh, segment went a little far, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna attach a pole to it and see what happens. All right, see ya. See ya. I'm out too. We'll see ya. Hey man, see ya. See ya. And then it was just the four of us. Just the four. Well, that was uh, that that was a good bit. I liked it. Oh yeah, that was uh, that was good. It went uh, it went really far. I didn't realize how far it would go. That was the entire point. That's you guys want to transition? You can really push the limits on, like somebody's mental. Like, what is going on with you? (laughs) Yeah, you make people really question your own sanity. (laughs) This man really wiping standing up. Josh had me like wigged (laughs) out, dude. Josh said he was like he didn't want to look at other people on the other side. I was like, how how far are you standing up, bro? Like you standing straight up and wiping and just casually throwing down the toilet paper. What are you doing? Uh, the question. So which one's Josh? That was a the dude in the white shirt. Yeah, not the guy that was playing with. All right. Yeah, the guy with the kid. I, I that he actually does stand up to wipe because he uh, he played along with that really really well about his, his daddy wiping him while he was standing, and being young, and he just stuck with him. That man might actually wipe standing up. <laughs> I actually stand up to wipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you not? <laughs> he said, no, it's all coming out now. <laughs> I'll do the lean. <laughs> you do the lean? Yeah, for sure. 100%. You're the one that called out Oakley. <laughs> well, that was a whole fucking part of the joke. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Y'all spread y'all's butt cheeks when you go to sit down? I go to sit down. Well, I mean, I kind of, I kind of like sitting on one side and then work my way to the other. <laughs> <laughs> we picked it back up again. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> there it goes. Oh yeah, we don't need to get back on that subject. <laughs> Carry on. So, you guys want to? You guys want to transition into the travel topic that I had? Yes, please. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, what's some like cool places you got? You guys have been to? Well, on your, um, yep, cool. A lot of people probably don't like the place as much as I do. I like it more or less because of the weather and how it's very consistent. But I love Miami. There's a very big language barrier. I don't speak a lot of other languages, but I love the feel of being in Miami. I was so, right before my accident, um, or this is after my accident. My last job was in Miami. That's where I was like, I went and it was fun. I went there. We, uh, we got to leave like the hotel and go do stuff. It was fun. I just like the area, man. Mm. Um, it's very, very different. The culture is way different. Um, but again, like I said, the weather is what really got me. I stayed down there over winter um, last year. And I came back up this way to like 30 degree weather. We had 85 every day was consistent. Yeah. And came back That's up all here. of Florida. I was, so, like all, I was in Fort Lauderdale about a month and a half ago and it was in the 60s and 70s that smooth 80 85 that's well i mean miami's too is also it's it's another i mean what just from like the north of florida to the south of florida it's a good what nine ten hours something like that oh yeah man from orlando to miami is four hours i'm pretty sure from the tip of georgia to Orlando is about four. So it's probably about an eight hour, you know, drive down the panhandle. Mm-hmm. And further south, closer to the equator, just it balances out. Just it stays a consistent temperature. So me being like more of a cold weather guy, um, I really liked Colorado. I spent a little bit of time in Seattle. Seattle was really nice. I went during like the few, you know, dry weeks that I've heard that Seattle has. Um, so we had really nice weather when we were there. It was like 60s, 70s. It was really comfortable, you know, t-shirt, shorts, t-shirt, jeans, and you were comfy. It was, uh, it was a kind of a dry, when we were there, it was kind of dry. It wasn't too bad. I know that Seattle is rainy a lot of time of the year or Washington in general. Colorado was nice. It was kind of a dry, cool temperature. So I think that'd be more of like my kind of place. It'd be like Midwest, Northern Midwest. I mean, I, I really don't travel, uh, especially as far as y'all have. Um, I think the furthest I've been is Ohio. I and mean, that was when I was like seven, eight years old. But right now, you know, we, we go to Mississippi every year to ride. Then we've been down to like Talladega, lower Alabama to ride. We want to go to Windrock in Tennessee and then uh, Durhamtown, Georgia, to do a ride. If we can get Sean to go with us. Everybody, when I had my old Jeep uh, about three years ago or so, everybody wanted, me and Nick and everybody wanted to go to Windrock, but we just never made the trip. I didn't Where have, is Windrock? It's up in Tennessee. Uh, I don't remember what county it is. It's all over Springs. Yeah. Somewhere around that area. It's a really cool place. It's like Stony, but on steroids from what I heard. Yeah, it's a four, four and a half hour drive one way. But I heard Texas was nice. I heard that the uh, I heard Windrock's really nice though. Yeah, it, it's got anything from um, regular trails to like double black diamonds, you know, to really bad stuff. So on trails, what is the ranking system on that? How is how does that? Work? Um, it, it from, depends like, on the park. The hardest. Yeah, um, it depends on the park. You have some parks that label it as like beginner, intermediate, and mm-hmm. expert. Then you have other ones that go by the standard of where you have just beginner trails all the way up to double black diamond, which is uh, like extreme, you know, hardcore trails. It really depends on the park and the area they're in. Who is the decider on what rank, I guess, the trail would be? Is that just a park owner or is there like a because there's no way to say there's a standard because every trail is going to be different for every location. 
True. I guess. I don't know. Um, I really don't know how to answer that then. You think Stoney just like goes through and decides like some guys there that work there? Because technically, if you work for Stoney, you work for the county, correct? Yes, to an extent, yeah. It is county funded. That's what I, I could. I had a friend that worked there a long time ago, but when he would talk about, you know, working there, he was like, oh, I work technically, I work for like the county. And then, you know. Yeah, that, that's why, you know, when they had that wreck a few years back, uh, they went real big on the alcohol ban and stuff. That's because the, what I heard was the county pushed real hard on it because if they didn't do it, that they would lose some of their funding from the county. But I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know. So I know that the off-road park that's near me, um, they're privately owned. So they don't have any kind of... The way their rules and stuff like that work is all based on them. There's no, like, county involved. So Yeah. So yeah, you could probably have, like, beverages there and stuff like that, couldn't you? I know they do a lot of big parties. They do a lot of big parties up there. They're pretty good about like hosting events where they they'll feed everybody that comes up there. And it's yeah. really a cool thing, you know, a place like that spending the money to, you know, get a, a huge smoker grill kind of thing. And they're cooking like um, ribs, steaks, sausages, whatever. And they feed anybody that shows up, you know, if they're like participants. Of the I'll be there. You know, all about the food, man. It's, it's, a, it's a good atmosphere for sure. There's a lot of good people. There's a lot of like, you know, helpful, welcoming people in the community. So yeah, it's that, kind of a cool thing. <laughs> the newest park that's opened up that I've heard about is in Russellville. It's um called Northwest Alabama Ride Park. Um so a few friends have talked to that I've talked to said it's pretty good. Um he went when they first opened up, so you're gonna have a lot of construction still, getting all this trail set up but he said for the most part you know for it starting out it was good um some friends from mississippi said that they were gonna go either sometime this month or next month and but i haven't heard from them to see if they went or what uh they said they were gonna let me know maybe to go with them but i hadn't heard anything do y'all uh are y'all big uh campers no you're not Mm -mm. Now, like hunting, fishing, camping, stuff like that, I really don't have the patience for. Um, especially fishing and hunting, I can't do it. There's just no way. Like, <laughs> I, if I go fish, I never catch anything. Like, if you lost something in the lake and want it back, I could probably catch it before I catch a fish. <laughs> like, I've grown up. I've drug up coolers. I've drug up Christmas trees. I drug up a chair one year and sat in the chair and fished out of the chair. <laughs> I uh, I don't fish. Like I, like I said, I can't do fishing. It's just not my thing. Now I do want to. Uh, we're supposed. My boss said he was going to take me bow fishing because I really want to do that. It's like a thing I want to mark off my bucket list. Yeah, I would love to go bow fishing, but. Uh, but yeah, that's a different, you know, that's a different thing. And, you know, you're just shooting bows into the water and reeling it back. I think that would be so cool. Hunting, I probably couldn't do hunting. I'm not a big uh, hunter, I don't think. I used to hunt when I was a kid, but even then I didn't like it. I'm like, what, what the hell am I doing out here? <laughs> I need to go home. It's cold. <laughs> he said, I can just buy this stuff at the store. <laughs> <laughs> we just go to S&S, Dad. We ain't got to make our own shit. <laughs> So I'd rather pay somebody to go hunt that wants the horns or the head, and I'll just buy the meat from them. Yeah, yeah I'd rather do that. You know, you can just go to um, you can go to a processor at the end of the season, and there's people that get deer processed, and they uh, don't ever pick them up. Yeah, some friends at work, friends at work were telling me about that, but I mean, I don't know what time of the year to go. You know, be like, oh, hey. Like in season change, just call call any processor near you up and uh, just see if they have any overstock deer meat. Yeah, yeah. sometimes seasons over they change over to uh, 
soldering beef and mm. and they can't store the deer in the freezer anymore. So they'll get rid of whatever isn't picked up. Sometimes so, if they have too many, like if people are dropping too many off, they'll just say like, hey, I don't want it. You know, I mean, they're they, just trying they, to they, get their. What I'm getting at is like, you know, mm-hmm. you can get in the season when they have to have the space. Like the people don't pick it up. They drop it off to be processed. It's not paid for. And it's just stock in a freezer and they need room for I heard that you can uh like they what you pay for is just what it costs them to process and you know handle right. everything. Right. Yeah. Hmm. So it's not necessarily the price for having the the deer clean, butchered, whatever. It's just whatever it took them to do it. Now I will besides all that, um I will camp. That's one thing I like doing. I like camping. Uh, every every time we go on like a gambler uh, we always camp because you know you had you have to be out there for that next because that next morning we you Rocky knows we get up at like seven thirty and start the day uh, like yeah. they start all the cars and stuff so you have to be out there camping one hundred percent. No man, I, I could probably do something like that, but I'm like I would be the one that's buying like the higher end air mattress and stuff because I ain't gonna sleep on the damn ground. What me and Josh did we we got a tent. <laughs> And uh, me and Josh, we used this tent the last, like, three gamblers we went to. And uh, we slept on the ground, that third one, and it came, It became a tsunami. And there were an F4 tornado passed over us. Like, How'd you all, wipe that? <laughs> we almost, did, like, I, I cracked open. I said this in the last podcast. I cracked open the tent while it was, like, storming because my phone was in the truck charging. I was like, I need my phone because I'm going to die. So I was like, I need to get to my phone. So I cracked open the tent and it was like, like all just in the tent. So I'd like to zip it back up and I was soaking wet. And I was like, all right, that's it. We're just, you know, that's it. Tent's floating away. We're gone. So I just laid back down, went to sleep. I accepted my fate. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if it's me, Sean, or if everybody can hear it, but um, like, when you go into like a higher pitch voice or something on my yeah. side, you cut out. Yeah, yeah it, it just it cuts does. out. It's the you microphone. can hear it on the you can hear it on the end though. It's the it's the microphone and the mixer. It doesn't pick up like high end noises. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a. Uh, I mean, not not a. Unfortunately, it's good that it doesn't do that because it would distort the mic. But it's a pro- it's a professional microphone. That's why it's doing that. <laughs> Here we go. This is not an iPhone. All right. Sean's the type of guy that bar- borrows stuff from his work and says it's his and brings it back the next day. We got outed. I bought all of this. Thank you very much from my work, uh, previous work. I didn't even get I didn't even get the expensive stuff. I got the digital interface stuff. It was like fifteen dollars a microphone. I wanted no, the shirts. I I want, they had used short microphones and they wanted like a hundred and something dollars for it. I was like, no. Hey, you know what my lighting is? I got a galaxy phone with a flashlight over here, a Christmas tree, and a TV in front of me. That's my lighting, buddy. <laughs> I got a ring light right here. That's about it right now. Got an overhead lot, uh, ceiling fan, and then I have my wife's uh, makeup stand lots on. Oh, That's about. I, was... I mean, you're you're real close with the makeup lot. You're doing doing better than me. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get Ron right, to get right. ring lights because uh, he uh, his microphone was very uh, noisy at first, so he just he's got this like RGB light behind him, and then I don't know what he put in front of him for a light. I think it's like a a lot from the actual uh, webcam, ain't it? All right, so Rocky's so, here. Everything froze. Stop loading. Everybody good? Yeah, I'm good. Rocky, okay. you good? No, I think he's either buffering or it's freezing one. No, I, I think <laughs> that he's on there and I explore, like, mentally. <laughs> His brain is going around in a circle. <laughs> yeah. It looks like he freezes, but he's not. Because I can see him breathing. But he'll like stop looking. 
and then he'll, <laughs> he'll move. All right, Rob- well, if we're done with that topic, I want to I wanna bring up something, you know, to ask. Okay, for the people that don't know, you know, Sean, you, you're pretty smart into it. What are you running on computer setup and stuff to do these podcasts? Uh, and then we can go to see what the other guys. So I have to do to do the podcast. I have a. I don't even know where to start. So I have a gaming PC, for you know. I can't tell if Rocky froze or not. I think he did. Sure seems that way. <laughs> I think he broke. Yeah, his, camera went, his camera went out on mine. It's just a little icon. Oh yeah, he's he's red on my screen. So I have a gaming PC. It's got a 3080 Ti and a Ryzen uh, 5800X for the CPU. The rest of the stuff is just, you know, the motherboard and all that. Um, so it's a full gaming tower. And then I have like a three monitor setup. And then for the microphone, I have a digital interface, like singing microphone, basically. It's an XLR. And then it goes to... This was all bought from Backstage Productions, by the way. Uh, this, the microphone, the XLR, the cables that go to the computer for sound the from the mixer. I bought the mixer off Amazon. It's a Yamaha, I think. It's just a small like mixer I would show you, but it's down here. And it's, yeah. got, it's got faders. You can run up sound. I've got two microphones hooked to it. And there's another digital interface I bought from backstage. And then now on the video I've got my M fifty, my like camera camera that I use to film videos with. And it's got a HDMI mini HDMI adapter run to an HDMI run to a cam link, which a cam link uh, allows you to run like cameras on your computer as webcams. So that's so on uh we'll say pricing wise for people that don't know um would you say yours is about a mid build low end build uh mine was more at the time when i built it because everything was new when i built it it was a high end build i would say because it was like i think it ran a couple you know a couple thousand dollars for the full build like if i built it like a full build it'd run like right at four grand hmm. new just the tower. That's not like including all these. I've had these monitors for yeah. long ass time. So I'm still on 144 Hertz. That's how long I haven't changed monitors, but it's been a good monitor. <laughs> so it's never messed up on me. So I just stick, with, they, the, stick with that. What they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I mean, it's not, it's not too, you can get into this kind of stuff. Relevant. See for me, me, I, me personally, I, I'm not a big gamer. I don't, I don't play a lot. I get, I, don't, I wouldn't say burned out easily. I get, I lose the interest quickly on games. Um, I like open world, you know, like open world free roam games. I don't like being stuck to a single storyline quest. Like if I want to go around, do whatever I want, do a quest for ten minutes or whatever, then go somewhere else you know that's what i kind of like i don't i don't like just being oh you got to do this to do this to get this you know that's I'm just me like, personally like, when i play that's when i play like call of duty or battlefield or things like that i like the more realistic type games the fantasy things that never like never really struck me i uh, just couldn't get into them i don't know why it's never had yeah. any- i say I, I say i don't like shooters but <laughs> I I like PUBG and stuff like that. Uh, I like looter shooters a lot, but I've been playing Modern Warfare Three. I've been on the Modern Warfare Three grind since it came out. Um, I'm a big uh, sim racer. Um, I have like a full sim rig, a Moza Racing sim rig. It's sitting over here, full build, uh, CPR pedals, Fanatec shifter, like the whole nine yards, and with a, uh, I think it's like a fifty inch TV that I've got in front of it. And I do like VR as well. So I'll put the VR on and, and, and race as well. And that's super fun. I like that. Um, yeah, I can see that. Beautiful. I haven't tried out any of the new VR stuff, but you know, which 
Sean may watch a little bit. You know, I, I personally watch it. I watch anime, and you get into like the anime versions of the full dive systems, to where you just lay there and then you play the game. Mm. You know, to me that that seems more than you trying to walk around or do something. You know, but like that that that's me personally. I'm not, especially if when it comes to like first person shooter games, I'm terrible. Like I'll be pointing toward the ground running left while looking up. <laughs> that, that's the how terrible I am. <laughs> I like uh I like Modern Warfare. I like this one. It's uh it's re- I'm I, I don't know. I would say I'm good at it, but I suck at sometimes. I get a good game and I'll get a bad game just like everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> kind of how it goes. The skill based matchmaking really plays a big role in that. Because I can have I can have some games where I just rock. And then next one, just I'm throwing it in the ground. I can't can't make a shot. Just kill from every angle. Yeah, so. again, it's frustrating too. You'll be like, you know, he does it that way. You'll be like, I'm gonna un- uninstall this game, but I can't because I just paid seventy dollars for this game. I can't uninstall. Exactly. It. One reason I play like Warzone, um, they have a lot of different modes in that, so and that kind of keeps me. <laughs> more level-headed. I played all the other ones on uh, multiplayer and everything. I hadn't bought any of, the, any of the new ones. I just got back into even playing them probably a week ago. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah. I can't wait till the new Warzone comes out. I think it's going to be interesting. Because I, like I like the last one that came out. A lot of people didn't. Nick especially. Nick hated it with a passion. One that's going right now. <clears throat> Do what? The one that's going right now. No, the or, yeah, the one that's out right now is Warzone Two or whatever. He yeah. hates it with a passion. I liked it. I I had fun on it until it was like, you know, until there was too many cheaters on it, and then I never really ran into any cheaters, but there was sometimes it was like kind of sus. Yeah, I mean that's that's gonna be though. Um, I've seen a lot of a lot of people complain about things on the new games that have already come out. I guess Modern Warfare Three. Yeah. Oh, uh, finding there's already cheaters on it. It looked like uh, there was a cheater on there today. My friend was like ducked down behind a wall reloading, and the guy like he died. Uh, he was getting shot. He was like, "What the heck?" And then he come around the corner and got killed. And then the kill cam, the guy was shooting like into the wall, like didn't know where he was. Turned around, snapped to him, <laughs> shoot him through the wall, and then he come around the corner and killed him. And I was like, that was so sus. Like, right. you knew exactly where he was. You were shooting through a wall. So that I was kind of weird. Plays. I made some plays myself that way, but a lot of it is I pick up all ground loop. I haven't leveled anything up to have a gun worth playing with, honestly. Um, So I pick up ground loop. And a lot of the things that I run across are snapshot grenades. And I'll have a, a few of them, and I'll pitch them out, and I'll see somebody, and I can, you know, bounce around a wall or a door or something, and nail somebody kind of know where they're camping at yeah no it gives you a big warning when that happens that you know you're, you're spotted so that'd be a tail on on him you know a guy flies in and just eliminates him <laughs> yeah. no idea where your buddy's at but i've had some some plays but i always have the, the end game stuff that's uh had to assist me I, I'm not. I'm not a very good player. I enjoy the game, for the most part. VR I, is where it's at. Yeah, I've never it. VR, and I, I'd like to, but I've never had. Dude, is I have the I have the Oculus Quest Two, and the Quest Three just come out, and it's from what I can see is amazing. I want it. I'm gonna get it. It's it's so cool. But I have the Oculus Quest Two right now. And uh, it's it's super cool. You can do all kinds of stuff. I got blades and uh, sorcery on Steam, and and you can like enable mods and stuff. And I I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I enabled like lightsabers on there and blasters and stuff like that. So well, I'll be I'll be in my living room just <laughs> doing all kinds <laughs> of weird stuff. But I get into it too. I like I'll just. You, you'll hear Freebird playing in the background. And I'm just going ham. <laughs> so, <it's, 
it's fun. Uh, I would recommend VR to everybody. It's like I think it's a game changer. As far as VR goes, um, the question you have is how realistic does any of it feel or look? Is it? I, I see. I see a mix. There's a lot look like a uh, early Wii kind of graphics where you know you're a cartoon character running around. I'm saying some look more realistic. I mean, how does it feel to you? What's your um, what's your honest opinion on what it is or what it could be? What could they do better? Or is everything going just like you would imagine the progression of VR go? It's it's amazing. Like you can uh there's some games that like like I I play the Star Wars game and you're on Musafar and you're climbing over the, the lava and like you're on the side of the building, you're like thousands of feet up and like if you turn and look down it'll like take your stomach you will like oh, it, is, it, is go, like, it has the depth to it makes you feel it yeah it's <laughs> in, it's nuts i played payday too that was fun uh but it's very chaotic because police just keep coming like there's no end to police it's just a constant like battle with them until you get to like the van or whatever and um oh. Oh, is payday like a, a bank scheme, bank yeah. robbery type? Yeah, you rob okay. a bank and stuff. So, but yeah, it's it's actually nuts. And you can get in there and just you just be like all over the place. You won't even know where you're at in the room until you like pick your VR up and you're like, oh my god, I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> so that's oh, yeah. not happy with it. <laughs> yeah. So how we do it is when we play like stuff like that, uh, I try to push my couch when we go to the living room and stuff. We'll try to push the couch back, and I'll have that big open space so I can like walk around and do stuff. It's fun. So does it? You know, I've seen those. Go ahead. I've seen like videos and stuff of people while they're kind of like strapped in around the waist. Yeah. And they're like on a platform that moves oh, yeah. as they walk. Yeah. I, I've I never, I've never seen that in person, but I've seen like a TikTok video of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's kind of my. That to me that. That would be safer in the long run because you're not walking, say, walking around your living room, tripping over something. You know, your your body is stationary, but you're able to move, walk around, you know, do stuff. Right. I just imagine that being like a thirty thousand dollars setup. Oh, I can imagine. Oh, I bet. So, I don't need why, to... like, why, you know, it's going back to that way, like the full scenario to where you're not doing anything at all. There's no risk to you yourself you know, with yeah. like a full dime. Put it in stationary and run with it. Yeah. Yeah, that would be uh that would be pretty awesome. It'd be it would be different. But yeah, it would be pretty nuts. Yeah. Well, uh I guess Rocky has decided not to come back. Uh, I guess he like cut out for good. <laughs> That's a shame. Yeah, was... I was thinking he was gonna his internet must have crapped out on him. I, I can imagine that's probably... It's usually what happens is internet goes out and then it doesn't come back on until like the next day. Yeah, with, especially with the weather that we've had and the rain oh, and stuff, yeah. it's supposed to get pretty pretty that's bad it. in certain areas. To yeah, he lives in the middle of the woods, so they, they may have a tree on a line somewhere. Yeah. Maybe. Very possible. Yeah, it's very possible. Well, I... In- enjoyed this podcast this was pretty fun uh this podcast will be on spotify and youtube it'll come out on youtube friday evening or f- well friday morning i should say uh if you guys want to check it out uh hit that like subscribe button if you want to see more again this will be on spotify and there will be a link in the description below so if you guys have anything else to say i'm good man i'm uh, forward to see you next time oh yeah we will, this Discord will stay open. You guys are welcome to stay in the Discord and join any time. Uh, these podcasts are made for, you know, just, you know, chatting with everybody. I mean, try to get everybody, as many people in here as possible because it just gets fun, like we did today. So, yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed today a lot. Well, all right. That'll be it, boys. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.